Welcome back to the URM Academy YouTube channel where we help you kick ass at mixing. I'm Joey Sturgis and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell button to get notified whenever we put up another great video for you guys. Now in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a stereo sound from a mono sound with no plugins. This video is just one small part of our much bigger fast track course, Spatial Imaging, which is available in our URM Enhanced program. Now there's going to be more details about that at the end of the video, but for now, let's dive in and get started. So the last tip for creating a stereo image from a mono source is a really cool and unique one that you can use from time to time. I find it works pretty well on like guitars and percussion, like maybe a tambourine or something like that. Um, it's real simple. And the concept is that we're going to use timing to create stereo imaging. So let's take a look here. I just have a simple little guitar part that happens in the middle of this song. And I'll play it for you. You've heard it before, but let me just remind you. Here's what it sounds like. So that's our mono source. And to create a wide version of that, uh, what I'm going to do is I've got two mono tracks here below, and I've panned one all the way to the left, and I've panned the other one all the way to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this audio, and I'm going to paste it into the track, and then I'm going to paste it into the other track, and I'm going to zoom in and to this second one here, I'm just gonna scoot it over one little notch, and I'm currently in 128th notes. Um, you could use milliseconds or whatever you want, but all you're gonna do really is just kind of move it off time, slide it over a little bit. It does need to be at least more than seven milliseconds. Okay, so then I'm gonna mute my original one, and now what I've got essentially is that same guitar part but I've got it on two tracks, one pan left and other pan right, and this one that's pan right is just a little off time. Now this time difference is so small that the ear is not really going to hear it as if it was off time. It's going to hear it as a reflection, just like you do in real life. If, if I say something in a room, my voice bounces all across the room and it comes back to your ears at different times, and that's what creates sort of a stereo image or a stereo sound. So we're essentially kind of virtualizing that in our mix by taking another copy of the sound and moving it off time. So let's see what it sounds like. As you can see, that's a really effective way to create a false stereo image from a mono-only source. Hey, I'm Joey Sturgis with Unstoppable Recording Machine, and today we're learning about spatial imaging. You might have heard that word before and not really known what it means, but it's all about mono versus stereo. I'm going to teach you how to hack stereo imaging, how to use plugins properly, and get the most out of your mixes. If you want your stuff to sound bigger, badder, wider, this is the course for you. Let's get started.